This thing sounds terrible. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wolf back with another video. You see Cerberus in the back looking beastly. But actually, he's sickly. Let me tell you why. So, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know how my car sounds. Let me show you how it sounds now. Oh man. This thing sounds terrible. Listen to this shit. Okay, so basically, the Vortex Supercharger is f***ed up. What the hell is that? Look, the Vortex Supercharger is f***ed up. Well, the RIP Supercharger is f***ed up. There's a leak somewhere on this and somewhere on my hose. Let me grab the hose. Yeah, as you can see, there's some type of leak. It won't tighten anymore. It's just, for whatever reason, it's leaking. So, basically what happened was, it was leaking, and I didn't know. So the supercharger started sounding weird. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need to change the oil, even though I keep track of the miles. And I knew, let's put the camera around. Even though I keep track of the miles, and I knew I had, like, at least 6,000 not 6,000, 1,000 more because I was at like 6,000 miles because you only really change it every 7,500 miles. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. I'm going to change the oil anyway. Uh, let me get in here. So I'm like, I'll just change the oil anyway. Maybe that will fix it. But when I went to change the oil, I noticed when I went to drain it out from the, uh, the tube, there was almost no oil in, uh, in the supercharger. So what had happened was the supercharger was running low on oil for a while and it, I think it damaged the bearings or something like that. So I contacted rip rip does not work on the supercharger. It's a rip supercharger, oh, a vortex rip supercharger. There should be a slash in there because rip cannot work on the supercharger at all. So when I contacted the um, rip, shout out to them. He was like, Hey bro, <laughs> we don't work on them things. So I'm at first in my head, I'm like, boom, okay. I gotta um I'll take it to Rip in New York, because New York is like six, seven hours away. I'm like, is it a hassle? Or I'll just send it to Rip. And I'm like, it's a hassle, but whatever. But lo and behold, since Rip does not work on these superchargers, that's why it says Rip in the yellow, right under it says Vortex. Vortex in California. So Rip gives me Vortex con contact information. And now uh, now I have to actually take it to the place that I got it installed on. Well, I got the supercharger installed. They're going to take it off for me. And then I actually have to mail it to Vortex in California. And Vortex saying it's at least going to be two and a half weeks. And with COVID, you know, that's everybody's excuse right now is COVID this, COVID that. So they saying it could be a couple months. So it could be two weeks to a month to a couple months. Terrible time frame. So that's what I'm, what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be going to uh, Big Snatch in uh, Fredericksburg and getting my supercharger taken off. And then I have to mail it to California. So Let's get into the video. Yeah, so we're on the highway heading towards uh, Fredericksburg right now. Kind of a drive I definitely don't want to take. But I feel like um, not just Rip, but most companies because I don't want people to get misconstrued it and think that supercharging your car is not a risk because it is a risk and I 
don't want people to think it's just okay you add you have 500 horsepower now on your v6 now it's just all just nuts and berries or something like that because it's not sweet sometimes it is but you know you got situations like this where something may malfunction or for whatever reason and yeah things can't happen like this so like i said i'm, I'm driving to Fredericksburg right now to get the uh supercharger taken off so i can send it to um california and get this thing um fixed up and get it sent back and get it put back on it might take about a month to get back in there champ which kind of blows but it just is what it is i just want to document all aspects of it um hey there's and there's another guy um his supercharger didn't go bad or whatever but um what happened i guess he the guy who tuned his car tuned his car a little too powerful and his transmission is shot he had to get a whole new tcm and after he got his trans uh transmission control module replaced he had to get a whole new transmission that's that's like it's almost seven grand right there so i'm just trying to give you guys an aspect or well, different looks at everything because i don't want it to just look like you have 500 horsepower now and you have no problems because like i said stuff like this does happen it's not anybody's fault i'm not bashing rip or vortex but things happen so that's what we're doing now we're on our way there to get this thing taken off and see if we can get this situation nipped in the bud as quickly and painless as possible oh yeah and this is not gonna be free <laughs> this is not gonna be free i'm talking about him spending six grand i'm probably about to spend between getting it taken off, put back on, and getting it fixed, I'm probably about to spend $1,500 to $2,000. Hopefully, that's the low ball in my head anyway. I don't know, but like I said, we're gonna find out. Let's see if, if my warranty covers it and or X, Y, all this miscellaneous things, but I seriously doubt it because I've had it for over a year, so. And this is the first real problem I've had. So, let's get into it. Okay, just arrived at Big Snatch in Fredericksburg. There you see the sign. Where's my camera? Boom. Big Snatch off-road. Like I said, I got my, my supercharger installed, installed at a Jeep place. Whatever. Same in. So I'm outside. I'm I'm not sure how they feel about filming. Uh so I'm gonna go in there, talk to these guys. Drop this baby off, man. Service in the front looking sickly. <laughs> Dang. All right, YouTube. Say bye to Cerberus. He's at Big Snatch. He's in their hands now. Uh, Cerberus in the back looking sickly. All right, man. That's it for this video. Uh, me and Cerberus out. Left wrist for the diamonds, right wrist for the power moves. Left wrist for the diamonds, right wrist for the power moves. Power moves, power moves. Rocked up, yabba dabba do.